Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeremy and this is my first ever makeup tutorial. Um, it's come requested for quite a long time now that I do something like this, so I finally decided to sit down and record what for me is a pretty standard everyday makeup look. Um, if you'd like to see how I create this. So then I started with the MAC strobe cream to moisturize, add some radiance, and it's a really good primer for underneath foundation. Um, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden is great because for me it acts as a primer and a concealer, so it's just less stuff that I have to put underneath my eyes that might tend to get cakey, um, you know, putting foundation on top of it and then powders and everything else. Um, it's just one less thing that I have to do. Um, the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation foundation super good great coverage um it lasts all day on oily skin it's got a good shade range um i apply it with the beauty blender just to get a nice smooth even application um the wet and wild photo focus press powder is honestly probably my favorite setting powder i've ever used in my life um and for only five bucks i mean you just can't go wrong it's super lightweight it's got a subtle luminous kind of finish to it it just looks like natural skin um the mac mineralized skin finish and warm rose i really like to set my under eye and my eyelid because it's got a subtle pink to it which for me i need to add a little bit of pink back into my skin after i get my foundation on anyway um and so that's really good for that um the Ben Nye Face Powder in Pretty Pink is another one that I like to go in and actually bake my under eye area. Um, it's going to help my crow's feet area from creasing and getting weird later on. Um, I like to cake it on, load it up so that it helps with any eyeshadow fallout so that doesn't get messy in a little bit here. I use it on my nose. I use it on my forehead. I use it on my chin. Any areas that I think might have a chance of getting a little bit too shiny and weird later on. And a lot of times I just don't have time to mess around with touching up my makeup throughout the day. So, you know, if I can if I can lock it into place and not have to worry about it for like the next eight hours, I'm a lot happier about it. The MAC Sculpting Powder and Sculpt, um, this is probably my favorite my favorite sculpting powder um i've gone through probably four or five of this um of these pans and they're great for my entire face um i sculpt out my nose with it because i've got a crooked nose actually you can see right there i've got that little i've got the little uh hook that goes inwards from a broken nose so with this powder it's nice because I can go in I can really contour and sculpt everything out and have it look natural and not super drawn on and super fake the MAC eyebrow pencil and lingering I love it's a nice taupey colored it's kind of a cool tone it's great for blondes because it doesn't have that gross warmth to it um, it lasts pretty long i've got pretty oily skin and for the most part it really does hold up especially because i don't have any eyebrow hair at all so i really do have to start from scratch and really draw those things on um very minimal wear maybe by the end of the day the tail might have faded just a touch but it's not too too bad um the Jeffree Star eyeshadows, I'd have to say, are my favorite eyeshadow formula that I've ever worked with. The, um, especially the Androgyny palette. Safe Word is the most awesome transition color I've ever come across. It's It's got a great color. I wish that he would make it in a larger pan to use as a, uh, as a sculpting powder, actually, because I'd probably switch over to that one. Um, Androgyny is a beautiful color. Um, you can really build it up and create, actually, a, so you can create a single look out of that one color because you can really, really deepen it um, and make one color look like you use three or four even though i'm about to use like probably 10 colors here um max smut just to deepen that 
outer corner there. Um, that bottle of Urban Decay setting spray there is actually the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. Um, I like the setting spray, but I hate the component, so I moved it over to the Urban Decay bottle because with the Urban Decay setting spray, I love the component, but I hate their setting sprays. I think they're garbage. Um, Deja Vu foiled really nicely with that Wet n Wild spray. Um, the Wet n Wild one just has, uh, it has some good stick to it where I really like the Mac Fix Plus, but the Wet n Wild one for foiling eyeshadows is even a little bit better. So um, I just kind of blended that in a little bit more right there on the lid and then uh, went over top of that with Confession, which is another Jeffree Star color, just because I felt like it needed one more color on the lid to really blend it in. Um, Vanity I used on the outside corner there just to deepen up that corner where I had put smut before. They're both actually very similar colors, I think. Um, there's not too much difference there. I think might ha smut might have a little bit of a shimmer where I don't think Vanity does. And then on the underneath side, I went in with most of those same colors just to uh, smoke out that lower lash line and deepen you know, the underneath part of my eye. Um, I like a smoky look and I like a lot of deep colors on the on the upper and the lower. So uh, I go in and blend all that stuff out again. Um, vanity to really deepen that in there near the near the lower lash line. The Urban Decay 24-7 waterline pencil is the most overlooked, underrated um, waterline pencil that there is. It lasts all day on me. It does not go anywhere. Um, after 10, 12 hours, it looks like I still just applied it. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't get, you know, weird and gunky in the corners that, you know, the inner corners of my eyes. Um, and then just blending that out with a little bit more of vanity on a pencil brush, um, from Morphe right there. And now I'm going in and, adding just a little bit of uh, a little bit of warmth to my face that beauty powder that i'm using is actually from the raquel welch collection which i think is probably about 10 or 12 years old right now but um this still smells good it still works good i'm not throwing it away i still use it um it still performs exactly the same so i don't care if it's expired um but yeah right down there onto my neck just to add some continuity from my face down into my neck and chest area. And then I'm going back in with Sculpt to really contour the cheekbones that I don't really have. Um, I'm working on that with the new face device, which is actually kind of sweet. That thing is working a little bit. But uh, yeah, sculpting out the cheekbone on the other side there. I go into my, uh, up into my temples and in my forehead area. I've got a pretty large forehead to contour there, a little bit underneath the jawline to um, add a little bit of a shadow there so it looks like I have somewhat of a jawline, kind of lacking in that department as well. Um, Matt Give Me Sun, I'm actually using as a blush there, and the Posh Pepper Beauty Highlighter in High Voltage is a, an awesome color. Um, it's kind of warm, it's kind of gold, it's kind of pink. Um, all of her colors are amazing. Um, I've got quite a few of them, and this one is definitely the one that I use the most. Um, I hit the forehead area there, down the nose, Cupid's bow area, and uh, yeah, I really like her highlighters a lot. The inner corner, I mean, I use one highlighter for my entire face. Sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll do different colors of highlighters on different parts of my face, but today I just wanted to kind of keep everything looking uh, looking a little monochromatic, I guess. Um, again, the setting spray that's in there that I'm using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray, which as a setting spray on my face, I don't know how much I love it, but that's what I had today. That's what I worked with. Um, normally, I would have finished my eyebrows before setting, but I kind of forgot, so I'm going back in and finishing my eyebrows over top of that setting spray, which didn't really work out so well because it got a little gummy, it got a little chunky. 
The MAC Insta Curl Lash is my favorite mascara right now. Um, it's super black, it's lengthening, it's volumizing, but it's not chunky, it doesn't get thick. Um, the same with the Studio Sculpt Super Black Lash for the lower lashes. Um, it's a great formula. The brush is just awesome for those lower lashes. It doesn't get spidery. The Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, I really like this color. Um, I am not a huge fan of the matte liquid lips, but as a lip liner, I think that they work really well because you don't have to worry about them wearing away or coming off later on. So that's how I like to use them is as, is as a lip liner instead of an all over lipstick. And then over top of that, um, I just go in with a kind of similar lipstick color. This one is Faux by MAC. I really like this one because it's just a natural nude toned lipstick that if it wears away after a few hours, I'm not super worried about it because it's not obvious. So yeah, that's it. So that is the final look. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. If you like this video and you want me to make more like it, just leave me a comment down below. Um, hit like and subscribe and tell all your friends about it. Okay, take care, bye. Oh,